Okay, so I think we got it. And let's go into just the client uh, properties. And oh, I receive exists. change this comment line comment line um, from this to something like this. So now it would copy from the source folder the DLL files we are making, well, the client DLL, uh, so it would paste it into the bin folder where we actually need it in the content file. And uh, just copy this code. I will put this in the description below. So, yeah, let's copy this and go into the server and select all that crap uh, rename it to server let's copy server actually and go back into here so this first thing is uh, oh, uh, this is the source folder thing for the source content And uh, that's where the DLL files will put themselves when you compile. And obviously you want to update those uh, DLL files, since those are the files that actually make the program work as it should. Uh, obviously you want to update them to the version you are on, so you want to actually get your content into the game while you're testing it, so apply, and okay, so let's just try to see if this works, the debug uh, button, and then we just need to wait for this. I think I might need to change some more stuff in uh, some files, but let's just check if it works this far. I don't know really how long I've been recording now. I will try to finish off the uh, basic uh, uh, making the debug thing to work in this tutorial and then we will start on the actual entities next tutorial. Um, yeah. Obviously, you don't need to sit here and watch this compile, so... Um, yeah. The logic entities, uh, entity I'm going to make the next uh, tutorial is going to be uh, something similar to the mouth counter, because that was the first entity thing uh, I made, uh, based on uh, the mouth counter. And... Uh, well, it's pretty simple actually how it works. You just need to have logic in your head. Let's see how far it is now. There were some build errors, of course, were. Um, no. Let's just search. F uh, press uh, CTRL, Control Find, uh, Control Find, Control F for a defined uh, window and just search for error arrow error into this window and find next and yeah here we have it uh, is big and uh, we have the fix for that as well uh, somewhere somewhere in here yeah we have it here 
So first, you want to go into this um, folder. I will most probably put in some links in the description below so you can find this uh, this one and just open link in new um, tab. Just when wait for this to load, load it, load, it, load. It. Yeah, wait. Here we go. Just copy all of this until you find the end if uh, is big. But age and copy all. And then you want to go back to this one and see what it says. Uh, yeah, we want to make uh, is ebic uh, file. ebic.h uh, file. So. Just go into here and let's just go into the source folder. You could obviously put in some uh, some 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 sort of wait uh, some sort of uh, sources no. Uh, shortcuts to the folders that would be s quite smart uh, for when you're actually making this uh, so yeah I forgot to put in the underscore there in that one and in this one underscore because if you see here now again and open this one this should match the whole life I don't think it doesn't matter uh, if you have big letters or small letters I think uh, hopefully not <laughs> let's just go into here and oh well, that's quite interesting uh, we need to have the actual source thing here. SRC and uh, we also want that into the other one. Yes. So there we go. Um it's getting quite messy now. But I think this is okay now. Um yeah, as I said uh, if you open that and this will match this one. Just check if it matches, and uh, if it doesn't, just fix it uh, compared to what folder you have in here. Um, now, where did that one say we would? Yeah, so go to SRC uh, source, I think it stands for uh, public and AVI, and yeah, just. Follow me. Follow me. AVI. And then just copy this and paste it there. And we want to rename it to a big page. And then we want to open it from this one. Uh, open file. And then you would want to go back to this folder, Half-Life Modern, um, just open up the ebic file, and now it's we have the uh, eavi file there actually. Uh, well, it's the same inside this one since we haven't co uh, pasted this code into it. So let's go and copy this and go back here to the ebic and press uh, control a and you will select all and delete it and paste the code we copied um, I want to cover what this actually does because I haven't um, checked it myself 
I think it has something to do with the startup uh, video because uh, Big uh, is the uh, file that uh, Valve uses for, oops, for example, the start video with the head. You can actually change the start uh, video as well for your mod, but that will be in another tutorial. So, yeah, um, that isn't actually coding, but whatever. Now we have fixed that part, just save it, just control S as usual in a lot of programs, just close that up and uh, go back to the thing here. Um, then in engine sprite dot age, just open that from this one as well, uh, where did it actually say I was supposed to find it? Uh, the game, okay. Source game. Was it client or was it? Yeah, it was client. Um, engine sprite dot h. Open. And uh, here we want to go and include. So what we want to do here is mostly like the over thing. Just make that and include and in the AVI folder you see here you get the option and uh, select that one and there that looks weird works with both of this so just make it look nicer and uh, doesn't really matter uh, you, you probably want to make your code look nice because if else it would look messy for other people if they were to try to uh, if you have an open source mod you would want people to actually understand what the thing is, what the code is so yeah then we should scroll down to this part um, you could just search up for example this line, you would find it. So copy and go into here, find that, find next, and there we have it. And then we want to add in these highlighted uh, lines, so copy that and go into here. There we have that one and they go back again and copy this one copy uh, there and there now that should be okay and then just save that and then we want to go to sprite model dot cpp cpp stands for c++ as you might already have understood copy this uh, yeah, it is in the same folder, so src game client. Um, let's go there. Open file client and sprite sprite model cpp. And let's see where did we want to put this? I did. Okay. Yeah, I have done this sometimes before but, uh, let's just scroll down to we find is yeah I like to put it here since it's right under the other thing in the other in this same folder so put it there and just copy this description so as I said uh, it will be easier for other people to understand is uh, the sprite and uh, and it's not and big, it's a big. Uh, so that should do it and uh, save that and